So we are here today at Heights International Talk. I am excited. We have a guest speaker with us today. Uh, man, this is going to be an amazing half hour. I'm excited. Um, so we got Chris here with us. We got David. It's going to be an amazing, amazing show. Uh, Chris, w w you want to introduce uh, the man, the, the man of the hour today? So we have uh, we got David over here. He is our team leader for uh, KW Coral Gables, and you know I'm just excited to have him here as well. You know we love you, man. So. Thanks oh, for being on the show. I love it. Yeah, yeah listen, both you guys are a little too emotional. No, that was that was organic. Uh, <laughs> turn down the lights. I need you to leave. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I, I have to say I'm honored because I know this is going to be one of thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of thousands of amazing shows you guys are going to have. Absolutely. And I can say I was the first one. Hey, so yeah. that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Number I one. I think that's pretty cool. That's, Number that's one. pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so we can just give us a, a, a 30 seconds, uh, just a little bit about you, who you are, what you do at Keller Williams. Corp. 30 Gables. seconds. I'm going to put all this together. 30 so, seconds. Okay, well, uh, what I do at Keller Williams, I'm the team leader. Good deal. So what the team leader basically does is really simple, is really basically is grow your business. Uh -huh. So my job is for everybody there to be successful to grow their business and make lots of money and have fun. Good deal. So yeah, how yeah. cool of a job is that? That's yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty fun job I got, awesome. right? And, and I noticed that you, you don't you don't take it since we've been working together. Yeah. You don't take it as um, as basically uh, someone who's telling you what to do as the traditional boss. You're more like a coach. You, you more hear us out and you know tell us what what's going on. Uh, tell us your ideas, your plan, your business goals. And then you, from from my uh, take with you and, and talking with you throughout the, the days and the weeks and the months, um, it's just been, from a coach perspective, I mean, w is that normally how you approach things? Is that normally how you, you, you're gonna continue to go with it? Yeah, look, I'll, I'll go back. Um, I revert back to who the people influenced me in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, they've been obviously in the, in the business world and my personal life too. And it's always been someone that has just shown me the way in in a positive light, yeah. and has not been the the dictator telling you what to do. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we all know that sometimes that could work, and sometimes it's necessary, especially when you have kids. You know, they gotta tell them yeah. what to do. Yeah, of course. But it's the approach of I'm in it with you guys. Yeah. You know, we all have one goal. We're all trying to do one thing. I know what the goal is for both you guys. You guys entered a business that, you know, is not easy. A lot of yeah. people think it Tough. is, and it's like on Bravo. Uh, Million, yeah. what was it called? Millionaire listing or yeah. million, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, it's not that easy. I mean, we have an really amazing easy. city, but it takes it takes support. Yeah, it almost seems like people watch real estate. Whenever I say, you know, I'm in real estate, people are like, "Oh man, are you like those, you know, that TV show this and that?" Like, no, I wish well, it was. Hold on a second. Now you are. <laughs> well, well, you know, well, you, yeah. are. you guys are. You know, so <laughs> no, but I mean, it, it's it's yeah. it's not all that glamorous. It can be fun. It can be enjoyable. I yeah, mean, definitely. talking with people, uh, you know, bringing people the the aspect of home ownership. Right. I mean, when when you're getting when you're sitting down with people who maybe they they bought their first home and they come up to you and they say, "This is our first home," and they just start to tear up because now they get to to have a family. I mean, that's that's amazing that's the glamorous yeah, part yeah. to me awesome. uh, but when it's you know it's hard work it, being in real estate is hard yeah a lot work of people don't see the the ugly <laughs> behind the scenes that. exactly but it is no, but let me work. let me pause yeah. on that what's one thing that we always say it's not it's what we do it's not the fact that we're just real estate agents or you know you guys are real estate agents it's that we change lives yeah and how amazing is yeah, it that you actually get to make a living and change lives you you you, you said it perfectly yeah exactly. a lot of this could be They've saved up many years for their first time to do, you know, to buy their house. Yeah. Or it could be some kind of event in their life, and now there's a change of, of, of whatever it is. Yeah. You're a big part of that emotional yeah. part. So, Absolutely. you know, it's funny because in real estate agents, they just think about the, the transaction part. Yeah. Doing yeah. the contract and all that kind of stuff. But in any business that you do, there's that human factor also. Exactly. And that's one thing that's, that in real estate, it's very amplified. Yeah. Because it's it's very important on, on is there a connection or not. Yeah. So. And, and, you know... This, and that's the whole reason of this podcast, this show, this YouTube channel, everything. It's not just to talk about real estate, right. but it's talk about you know how business people are coming and they're transforming their own lives through you know home ownership or basically 
if you we want we want you to get something out of this even if you're maybe in a banking maybe you're you work at the airline or maybe you work at the gas station wherever you are in life we want you to come out and say man i really got something out of this and i think that was the whole point of hypes international talk is just to you know let's let's talk business let's talk let's let's you know there's so many different shows like mm -hmm. the shark tank the profit yeah, yeah yeah so there's seeing that people love this conversation about business about successful stories uh and that's what we're here to do at heights international talk but before we go we continue on um this is going to be the only real estate part aspect of it so each week uh we're going to have a new guest and we're gonna have a new city. And that city, uh, we're just gonna give some facts and we're just gonna talk about it for a few seconds. And basically, uh, we chose Coral Gables because that's where we're shooting yeah, now. Yeah, this is our home uh, right here. Yeah, exactly. So this is where, we, where we're working. So um, let's, let's just take a look at some of these numbers. So in Coral Gables, um, the average, um, the medium list price is a million and a million one one million to one point one five so so that's that's a pretty steep number you got the average square foot of four hundred and forty dollars a square foot the average days on the market is 144 days on the market uh and the inventory for coral gables is 134. uh and what does all that mean well for coral gables if you live in this area if you're thinking about buying in this area uh, it just means that right now uh, it is a buyer's market. Buyer's market. Yeah. Um, you got to be careful with a lot of people. They say, you know, oh, you know, is it a seller's market right now or is it a buyer's market? Well, from a real estate aspect, I can't tell you that unless I look at my numbers, unless I know the area. Uh, and the this can be completely different numbers than Miami. Right. Coral Gables and Miami are very close. But this is completely different numbers. Right yeah, now, the, in Coral Gables, it's expensive to live here. It changes zip codes. It changes zip code. It changes area. So anyway, so that was that was it. So we'll get that out of the way. Now let's talk that's business. It. I like it. Yeah, that's <laughs> so it. that was the only I was so prepared about talking about that. But yeah, yeah, let's talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. No, uh, I want this to talk about business. I love, yeah, uh, let's I love let's, business. Let's talk, talk about business. So I was thinking about this one topic coming from contribution hmm. coming from yeah. contribution and i, like I mean wh what do you guys think about that coming from contribution what does that mean to you what do you guys w when someone says coming from contribution what does that mean tell me you tell know, a little more about that truly you know coming into the real estate business and learning about coming from contribution it's impacted the way i view business because it's really about helping each other out right really about how can I contribute to your business and hope you know that we can work together and you know in hopes that you can contribute back to mine right. how can we work together yeah so I think that really truly plays a big role in business because at the end of the day you know we're all businessmen whether in real estate whether you know you're a public adjuster whatever field you're in we're all we all work in the business we mm -hmm. all work a business and you know we're all trying to you know reach that you know financial peace in our lives where we you know we can provide for our families and you know do what we want to do so i think coming from a contribution is it's it's such a great thing it's such a good concept to you know to learn as a businessman because i mean it's not it's not all about you it's not all about my business it's not yeah. all about me you know we can't be selfish you know yeah. definitely it's not good to be selfish so so coming from contribution chris is like you know when you do business the, the, I think the approach sometimes is incorrect when someone comes in and says, "Hey, you know, this is what I, this is what I want from you." Yeah. But if you look at it the other way around and you say, "Okay, well, this is what I could do for you," it's it's a different approach. Yeah. And and doing business in reality that has which has been done forever really, it's about the fact of the human contact. Yeah. It's about what can I barter and trade. Let's yeah. go back to, to yeah. those times. Yeah. You know, it's something pretty much well, of what can I do for you. Exactly. Scratch yeah. my back, I scratch yours, so on and so forth, and then develops into business. That's what really it is. It's that human factor. It doesn't really ma doesn't matter the service or the product you're providing. You know that is a part of it, but it's the fact of who's driving it behind. Yeah. How do you find an audience? How do you provide a need for that audience? Yeah. The win-win. Yeah, the win-win. Finding that win-win. Yeah, that right. coming from contribution has to be that win-win, and you have to always be thinking about them first, just like you were right. saying. Just to give you an example, I remember um, 
I went over to, I was talking with this for show by owner, this guy who he was trying to sell his house on his own. And I walked over through his house and the commission, it wouldn't, it wasn't going to be good enough for, um, it wouldn't be worthwhile uh, for him and his situation. So basically I said, look, uh, I just became really fond of this guy, and I said, look, this is what you need to do. You need to do this. You need to do this. You need to get this. Take better pictures. Take professional pictures of the house. Do some good advertisement. And he was so in awe with the whole thing, with the whole process of how I gave him something. Yeah, you gave and him he's like, I need to give you this listing. And I was like, well, it, it's right now You what you're trying to net, you need to keep that. I was just trying to give you something so you can gain a little something right. more uh and he yeah. was just so mu so happy and so thankful that he did that uh he ended up sending him sending me a lot of good leads and a lot of good referrals so for you know so for our viewers out there if you're thinking if you're driving right maybe you're driving driving to work what can you do for your clients what can you do for maybe maybe your spouse i don't know whatever it is that you give a little of yourself you give a little of your time and your energy that's always going to come back a uh, hundred thousand fold so yeah, i mean definitely. i love that attitude of coming from contribution is what can i give you uh without the hopes that you're going to give me anything but i'm going to give you something and then in return, out of your own nature, you're just going to say, man, I have to give you something. Right. I have to give you, I have. To. So that goes on to building network, right? Um, building network. So if you come from contribution, then you're automatically going to have a new network. You're going to build your, your, your downline, your pipeline. So how, how can we influence that as businessmen? Um, and business leaders of having that idea of coming from contribution and now we're growing our pipeline you know what can we do to to better incorporate that what do you guys think look i think I, you made a good point i love the fact you guys named it coming from contribution yeah. because i think of you know all of us have, been, have, have known that in order to build a, a successful business you really got to think about the end game in other words you know what what's it provide what kind of service i provide yeah but even taking a step back it's almost being elementary the fact of service. Yeah. You know, nowadays service. sometimes you walk into a store or a restaurant and you go, wow, that was great service. It almost stands out now. I want to come back. Yeah. I want to come back. The food might have been mediocre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but the service, the service great. will always outweigh. Yeah. Where unlike a place where you go where the food is amazing but the service is horrible, yeah. chances are you won't come back because no food yeah. is that amazing where mm -hmm. you're going to be treated as such and you're going to do it. Yeah. But we have to go back. I mean, I think now, especially having kids, you start thinking a little differently. Mm -hmm. I know you're in. <laughs> Got you know, two of them already. I don't know. Simple things. <laughs> <laughs> two. Three coming up, probably. No, no, no. Uh, no, yeah. no I said it here first. <laughs> um, no, it's look, it's it's about yeah. being kind to each other, being nice to each other. Just simple, basic, elementary things. Yeah. And that comes from service. Yeah. You provide service. Some, now people raise eyebrows and go, wow, he's, this guy was a nice guy. Yeah. You just provided all that information for him where normally someone else is has is something you always go isn't it human nature like when you go into anywhere when someone calls you a telemarketing call i don't know people do that anymore mm -hmm. but somebody calls you it's like what do you want from me <laughs> well, what are you trying to force on me what do you want it's like, yeah. right come on it's not that <laughs> right it's not that yeah. hey you know i got something for you i want to do it and i want nothing in return you're almost suspicious of that yeah it's, yeah it's how rare that is now that it's suspicious yeah so yes if the mindset changes a little bit and you're going out there and just doing business because you want to do the good of something Doing the betterment of something else. It changes the game. It changes the game. It changes. Didn't the game. you hear when you were a kid a lot? Of, uh, yeah. I heard it a thousand times, but I never really grasped it. it grasped it. Grasped it. Um, do something you love, and the money will come. Yeah. 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 Do something you love and enjoy, and the money will come. And it's something that no, because as young guys, we always want to chase the money because that gives us the flashy cars and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But if you do something you love, the money will come. It's kind of like that saying, you know, do do something you love. What is it? Do the thing you love and you'll never work again. Do it. You'll never work a day in your like life. Sounds like a yeah. country song, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> backward, you get it all back. <laughs> no, but look, it's simple as that. Sometimes we forget that. Yeah. And sometimes it comes out of desperation. You're in a business and, you know, listen, we see in real estate agents all the time. You know, they're trying to do this, they're trying to do that. Forget the human factor of how impactful, like when we started this segment, of what that means. You're changing somebody's life. Exactly. So if you just take two minutes to talk to you know, a client, a family member, a friend, whatever it is, just take a few minutes sometimes. We're moving so fast. If you just take two minutes, they'll appreciate that. Yeah. So if you definitely. go on just that fundamental base and doing it in the industry you're in and change that mindset, 
like what you're doing right now, you're providing an amazing show, great content. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you guys do over and above for your clients mm -hmm. without really asking for the business sometimes, knowing, hoping in reality that the business is going to come to you. Yeah. Then, have you guys ever thought about, like, if you look at all the major things that we use every day, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Pandora, all these major technologies, yeah. those are all free. So yeah. the businesses, they figured it out. Let's give them. Let's give them something what they want and what they enjoy. Right. And then they're going to basically, they're going to enjoy it so much, uh, they're going to keep coming back. And then, sure, they're going to throw some advertisements in there. But, yeah. I mean, when Facebook came out, they didn't have any advertisement. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things that they were going against. Let's not put advertisement. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's just make it 100% enjoyable for for the people who are using the services. And I think if we start to do that in business, man, man, I just want to give you this. I just want you to have this so you can enjoy it. You're going to be hooked. You're going to be hooked on me as, you know, a friend, uh, a, you know, uh, a client or a coworker, whatever yeah, it's it genuine. is. I mean, that coming from contribution is a phenomenal tool for any business. Any so what do you, what do you think now that we're having this conversation? And it's the three of us. What do you think the audience really wants to hear sometimes when it comes to stuff like this? Because you just said a word, ge being genuine. Yeah, being genuine. Because that's a rarity sometimes. Just being oh, yeah, genuine with everybody and being able to talk to the audience and say, hey, you know, what do you guys want to hear? What, what is it that, that you know, it will be refreshing that it's not just a pitch. I'm not listening to these guys and they're trying to pitch something, but I'm going to get something out of it. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I, I think it's refreshing the fact that you guys are bringing the fact of coming from contribution. Yeah, definitely. Being genuine about it. Yeah. It's, it's huge. And if you guys start, I mean... If you do your business based on that, it's only gonna. It's have you been successful this year? What, yeah. what kind of year are we looking at? We're very Great. Good I mean, listen, yeah. guys, you're doing <laughs> you're doing amazing this year. year. I mean, you don't have to be that humble. You've been. I mean, you you just basically started. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. call you out in front of everybody. Yeah, no, no. But yeah, you're no. you're kicking butt in just that little pit of time. You know, I mean, I definitely give thanks to Gus, but I mean, he, I've gotten the tools and he's he's given it to me, and I've really really taken advantage. You, you have of to those show the audience. I don't know if it's on concepts. feed or not, but how you guys invited me to this to the show. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was an, I've never had an invitation like that. Well, yeah, that yeah. was kind of funny. Um, I mean, <laughs> you got you got to share it with these guys because so, okay. So basically, what what happened was I called them, I sent them a text, and I was like, "Hey, man, you gotta you gotta come out. We're gonna do this this podcast radio show, and we want you to be our first guest." And then he and then David it was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure. Send me an invite. <laughs> send me an invite." I, I was rude. I'm sorry. Send me an invite. <laughs> send See me if I can put you in my schedule. Google. And we just so happened, um, Chris here, he's an amazing drummer. Oh, and you, we were at yeah. Guitar Center picking up some studios equipment. And I said, hey, uh, hey, Chris, get on the drum set <laughs> and then just rock out and then say the, uh, the uh, you know, the amazing invitation. Killed hey, it. David, you're invited. <laughs> that was just Yeah, was yeah, it was that fun. Was awesome. It was really fun. I walked down the halls and everybody's telling me. <laughs> Dude, what's going on there, you know? <laughs> and then now you guys setting up over here and everything else. It was amazing. It was yeah, no, look, that little fun. thing made you guys. Now I was excited. I was yeah. like, how can I? First of all, how can I say no? <laughs> you yeah, just called me out publicly no? like that, you know. <laughs> so, but you guys have to see it. It was yeah. all, you did a great job. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll add it to yeah the you got line. you got to see it. That was amazing. So, okay, uh, so we're just about uh, we're just about done with our time again. Yeah. Uh, just different topics every week. We're gonna be having someone new every week. Yeah, let us know what you guys wanna wanna hear. You know, this is not about us; it's about you guys. So let us know what you really wanna hear. What topics you want to to be talked about uh, in the business world? You know, just really anything. You know, go ahead and do that. It's yeah. about you guys. And definitely take each concept that we're talking about. Come uh, today's topics was coming from contribution. And try to apply that into whatever area of work you are in, uh, relationship. Come from contribution and see how much that has an impact in your life, in your business, yeah. and in your self worth. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna start to think about, man. Let me let me see what they need first, and then if I get something out of it, cool. But they come first, yeah. and then your clients, your friends, er, anybody who you associate yourself with. They're gonna want to genuinely be attracted to you. So I mean, take this concept, listen to it. Um, you know, try to implement it in your drive to work. Um, Life's a lot more than just our numbers. Exactly. Yeah. Of us yeah. looking at our numbers and so on and so forth. I mean, yeah. look, from what I know of, I don't know if we have a, you know what period of time we have, and we know it could end tomorrow. Yeah. So the impact that you guys have, the fact you're having this this show, and that small impact. I, I love the fact that we just came up 
you, you just made me think a little differently now when I go back out to my office mm-hmm. and think about how I'm, how, how I'm approaching people. How am I talking to people? Yeah. Is it yeah. is it coming from here? Is it genuine? And yeah, I get lost genuine. in the shuffle in reality. And, so. it's, and, and it's small too. Um, just for, like, okay, so with you, whenever I'm talking to you in text message or whatever, um, you might not notice that you even do this. Um, so we'll be chatting and then you'll say, man, I love what you did with this, this video or this social media post or with this, cl- or with this um, one of the, the KW members. Um, and you just give me this word of affirmation and you don't know how much that pumps me up That's to great. A, continue doing it and then B, to go out there and do it even better next time. So again, coming from contribution, hey, that video you did was amazing. So now I gotta think, I have to do a better video Ooh. now. <laughs> I, I mean, isn't that, if, if yeah. I said, bro, that's a nice suit. You're not, you're always, Ooh. now every time you're gonna walk around me, you're gonna, you know, you might, you know, <laughs> yeah. pump it up a little. <laughs> well, it's true, look, it's the first time yeah. in my life that I've ever had an invite like that. That will go down. I'll go. talk about this 20 years from today. Now I'm going to invite you every single friends. time that way. I'm going to go, hey, you know this guy named Chris? And the, let, let me show you. And let me show yeah. the Because I have the video saved when yeah. you text it to me. There you I go. Mean, but guys, listen, you, you guys go. are doing an amazing job. I love that you oh, guys are doing you, this. Man. You, thank both you. you guys are amazing yeah. guys. We, we and I'm not just saying this. it to, because I'm your first guest. Yeah. And I'll go down in history. But the reality, you guys. What's going on? You got the VIP. No, but listen, you guys are doing something that's over and above. And if you continue with this segment and do that, you're you're Absolutely. you're changing lives. It's I mean heights so. international talk. Yeah. We're we're a hit. Where it's gonna be a hit, uh, and we we want to be bring rock stars like you. Yeah. So uh, so for each episode, we're gonna give our guest speaker about sixty seconds to just promote him, promote his business, and talk about whatever you want to talk about for sixty seconds. Um, if you just a little bit about him, real quick again, he's a phenomenal coach phenomenal coach so if you're in real estate and you're thinking man i'm not where i want to be in real estate just give this guy a call pick his brain just talk to him see what see what you need to do to see your business improve tremendously Um, when i was in real estate i started out in real estate and i was mediocre if that i was okay Um, but and then i came in here and then I was surrounded by amazing people and it just transformed my real estate business tremendously. So you got 60 seconds, whatever you oh, want to wow. talk about. Oh wow, let me about. get my ad out and stuff <laughs> like that. Especially after talking about coming from contribution. No, but look, what I do and tell the audience also is, it's funny because I didn't know what a team leader meant. I was a little intimidated by the, by the name of the role. Um, because I, I, don't, I don't look at things when we do things as a team. I look at more as a, as a circle, like this table right here or this, this microphone. I don't like putting hierarchy. That's one of the things I left when I left banking. It was a lot of hierarchy and stripes and stuff like that. So what I do basically, like I'll go back to saying this and I'll keep it as simple as possible, is I help you guys grow. Yeah. I help you guys, whatever dreams you guys are looking for, whatever you guys are trying to aspire to do, it be financial, personal, whatever it is, my goal is to help you hopefully with the years I've put in the past and experiences I've had to help you guys do it. And that's what I'm looking for. Good. Now, if you obviously I'm specific with the real estate agency, but call me. I mean, call me, we'll talk. That's yeah. how I start every conversation. Let's have a conversation and talk. I never liked and I never have that approach of I'm going to try to shove. I, let me go back. Let me say something. I had a conversation with uh, what we call a mega agent because he does a, you know, big numbers or whatever it be. Yeah. And he said, yeah, no, no, I don't want to. We meet. were talking yesterday. Yeah, yeah of exactly. <laughs> he goes, uh, he goes, no, 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 because I don't want you to recruit me. I go, first of all, if I'm that good of a salesperson that I'm going to change you in a moment because we meet, then that, what's that say about you? Yeah. I go, well, first of all, I know that's not going to happen. All I'm yeah. asking for is just have a conversation. It's good to know what's out there. Yeah. Go to know what your options out there. Mm-hmm. Go to know our team. It, I, I sit very comfortable because I know that I'm very proud of working with you guys and, and the culture and, and so on and so forth. So I'm honored to do that. And that's all I yeah. do. I have conversations. If I could lead you and show you something that's a little better, mm-hmm then it might be for you. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. So my, again, my job, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, and I appreciate the kind words again. Um, thank you for having me as a guest. Yeah. Of course, of course. You know, we're, like, we're excited. Um, we're excited, I'm excited to, yeah, see, this is awesome. to see. I mean, again, if you guys are in real estate, specifically in real estate, and you're wanting to take your business to the next level, 
just give this guy a shot. Yeah. Uh, call this him guy. up and just say, hey, look, let's talk. Let's go out to lunch and see w- where that goes from there. I'd but love to be taken out to lunch, so no problem. <laughs> <laughs> take, yeah. Lunch. Yeah, t- take him out to lunch, please. <laughs> nah, it's just a, no, conver- it's we, a conversation. It, yeah. It's yeah. a conversation. Yeah. We yeah. talk, and, and it's always good to know what your options are out there. Exactly. Yeah. So. exactly. Well, I mean, this concludes our, our, our segment today. Uh, next, next week, again, we're going to have another special guest, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have a financial advisor coming up. We're going to have a banker coming up. We're going to have an attorney coming up. I mean, we're excited to have... Lots of good have, stuff. Wow. Lots of yeah. stuff. Yeah, we... Wow. <laughs> as soon as I put it out there, we're going to have, you know, guest speakers. People started to... to Beyonce, from. Aerosmith. <laughs> hey, yeah, you know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, so we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> that's a different show. Yeah, that's a different show. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're excited. So stay tuned. Follow us. Yeah. Uh, subscribe, share. Do all the... Bu- press all those little buttons. All the buttons uh-huh. that do all those amazing little around. things. So we're excited. (laughs) Thank you guys so much. Well, that concludes our show. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. All right.